Please read important safety information before watching this video. How to create a batch. In order to create a new batch in Analyst, double click the Build Acquisition Batch option from the Acquire section of the navigation bar. Alternatively, you can also select the new option under File, choose the Acquisition Batch from the popped new dialog box. The Batch Editor opens into the workspace. To add samples in a batch, first type the name of your sample set. The default set is Set 1. Click Add Set, then click Add Samples. The Add Sample dialog appears. Here you can create a standard format to name your samples and data by setting the prefixes of their names, using specific name format, and determining which subfolder the data will be saved into. The Auto Increment feature in the Data File section will create a new file for each sample, rather than having multiple samples in one file. Type in the number of samples you would like to add in this batch. Once entered, click on the OK button. You can find the new sample list showing up in the Batch List area. Additional samples can be added to the batch at any time before submitting the batch by clicking Add Samples and editing the settings in the Add Sample dialog box. To complete the batch editing, you need to set up the auto sampler sample positions in the batch correctly by editing rack code, rack position, plate code, plate position, and vial position. There are many ways to enter data into the batch table. You can either manually type information or use the fill down and auto increment functions on the right click shortcut menu. In this example, the Shimazu SIL 20AC auto sampler is used. You can select the 1.5 milliliter cooled as the rack code and type 1 as the vial position for the first sample. Click on the column heading of the rack code to select the entire column. Right click and select fill down to update the rack codes of all the samples to the 1.5 milliliter cooled. Then highlight the vial position column and right click to select the auto increment which will sequentially increase the value down the column. To confirm the vial positions, go to the Locations tab. Double click on the white box to display a graphical representation of the auto sampler rack. The vials with single injection are labeled in red with multiple injections labeled in green. The batch table can be customized by adding or removing columns. Right click on the table and choose the Hide slash Show Column option. Check or uncheck the entries to be shown on the table and click OK. Customized columns can be added by right-clicking and choosing Add Custom Column. Beside the manual editing as we went over above, there is an alternative way to build the batch. A sample batch can be directly imported from the pre-saved files by right-clicking and selecting the Import from File option. Next, we need to select the appropriate acquisition method to analyze these samples in the batch. From the pull-down menu in the acquisition setting, we can select an acquisition method saved in this project folder. By clicking the Method Editor option, we can review and edit the method if necessary. After selecting the appropriate method, the injection volumes in the batch change from negative 1 to positive numbers, as we set in the acquisition method. We can change the injection volume on a per sample basis if needed by typing a new injection volume. If more than one acquisition method needs to be used in one batch, select Use Multiple Methods checkbox. A new acquisition method column is added to the batch. Different acquisition methods can be selected from the menu in each row of the acquisition method column. Another option you can add in the sample batch is Quick Quant. This feature can be used when running MRM methods and in quantitation. Use the Quick Quant option to create a semi automatic quantitation method to define the components for quantitation. This option allows you to specify sample types and concentrations on the quantitation tab in the batch editor. 
Click on Quick Quant to open the Create Semi-Automatic Quantitation Method dialog box. In the data source, choose the appropriate experiment and period to apply the quantitation method from the pull-down menu. In the internal standard table, describe each MRM transitions by name, Q1 and Q3 masses. In the analytes table, enter MRM information including name, mass, and associated internal standard. If desired, select the number of smooths from the pull-down menu to be applied to the quantitation method. Save the setting. Click on the Quantitation tab in the Batch Editor. Select the appropriate sample types by using the pull-down menu in the Quant Type column and enter the corresponding concentrations of analyte and internal standards in Standard and QC samples. This information will now be attached to each individual sample data file and can be used to quantitate the data after acquisition. At this moment, the complete batch creating process is finished. To save the batch without renaming, simply click the Save button or go to File and select the Save option. If you want to save the batch with a new name, go to File and select the Save As option. A Save Acquisition Batch dialog box is displayed. Type in the desired file name and make sure that the Acquisition Batch is selected in the Save As Type menu. Click Save.